All new with a striking chisel body and an advanced 3.5 liter V6 and a stunning interior. Guys, this is the all new and completely redesigned 2016 Lexus RX 350 in Metador Red. Lexus debuted this 4th generation of the RX at the April 2015 New York International Auto Show, including a floating roof design and a revised boulder spindle grille. The RX feature a 295 horsepower version of the 3.5 liter V6 engine. This is mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission. The gasoline engine and electric motor RX 450H hybrid also reach a combined power of 295 horsepower. The vehicle is larger than previous generations with a 2 inch increase in wheelbase providing more interior room throughout. The counter issues with the previous version F Sport ride quality being too firm. In the pursuit of sporty handling, the new generation features an adaptive variable suspension to adjust ride quality as needed. An active anti-roll bore with the European specification 3rd generation RX was added to the F Sport package. So here's the key fob of the car. On there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release and the panic button red. You can also push this button on the side to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up and listen to the exhaust note. The new RX does come with the equipped uh, smart keyless access entry so all you have to do is leave the key somewhere in your pocket. Put your hand behind the handle to lock and to lock simply touch right there. Here's a quick view of the new interior design. We also have a very unique interior color. Back seat here. To start the engine, push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Now let's pop open the hood and see what the new RX350 has to offer in the hood. Simply pull this lever out. This will initially open the hood. And there's going to be another lever located in the center. Simply pull this up and raise the hood to open. Under the hood, the 2016 Lexus RX350 features a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It is an 8-speed automatic transmission. The V6 engine pushes out 295 horsepower and 268 pound-foot of torque around 4700 RPM. The RX350 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 7.7 .7 seconds. As for fuel economy, the new RX350 gets 19 miles per gallon in the city, 26 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 22 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode you're in, eco, normal, or sports mode. When in the eco mode, you'll see an increase in gas mileage with a slight decrease in power. And when in the sports mode, you'll see a dramatic increase in power with a slight decrease in gas mileage. Here's a closer look at the engine. Very clean. And there's the hook I told you about earlier. Up front, there's the variable intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the beautifully redesigned new grille with the Lexus logo embedded right in the center. Very eye-catching and attractive. To enhance visibility, the 2016 RX350 comes standard with the automatic on-off by LED headlamps with integrated LED fog light and LED daytime running lights. Parking assists are also built into the front bumper to safely notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. And here's a last look at the newly designed face. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal, power control with electronic heated feature, and the optional blind spot monitor system. And here's a quick look at the lower side. This specific model comes with the optional 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, 
Behind the wheels, we have the four-wheel interlock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. All four wheels are equipped with a tire-specific pressure monitoring system also. Very nice rim there. To the back, there's the integrate LED brake light in the center of the top spoiler. Looks very sporty. And here's the rear windshield wiper hide it nicely beneath the rear spoiler. To enhance visibility for the driver behind us, the tail lamps are full LED with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. The rear also has a built-in rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is again a great safety feature to assist driver in backing out and parking. Lastly, way below we have the new exhaust tip there. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked, simply push in to open. The RX gas tank can hold up to 19.2 gallon of gas and it is recommended by Lexus to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's open the trunk and see what's inside. We do have the power tailgate control there. And as you can see there's plenty of space for the luggage. First thing we have is the car mat. First aid kit along with your user manual. Trunk lighting here. And also have a hook over here. And these lever are to fold down the back seat. Over here we have hook on the back. And like a trunk light with a 12 volt core charge outlet. Let's see if we lift this up. We have a spare tire along with more storage compartment. And here's your trunk cover. You can pull this out to extend and slide it into place to cover the trunk. Looks very nice. And simply pull it back out to retract. And to close the trunk, you can either do it manually or you can press the power button here. Very nicely designed and sculpted and muscular body. For a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Up here we have three memory setting for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Four power window control, door lock unlock button, window lock button and your side view mirror control on top. Side door storage compartment. Lexus door seal. Brake and gas pedal. Hood release lever. Multiple way front seat power control. And here's a closer look at the seat. Very unique color along with the red stitching. Very smooth seat belt with adjustable height. And then the lock feature does work on all four doors. Here's a quick view of the back seat there. Same style design as the front door. Power window control and side doors compartment. No Lexus logo there. Now again, I am five foot seven, so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you have sitting in the back here. I have no trouble with leg space. Complete view of the front for seeing in the back. Two additional air vent 
right below that we have a 12 volt core charge outlet and storage compartment below there back seat storage let's see what we have in the middle here we have additional storage compartment along with um, two cup holders very nice and here's a closer look at the back seat again same style design as the front very smooth seat belt on top we have your hand bar along with a spot for you to hang anything you need to directly above our head is the light control and there's your sunroof okay you can also pull this lever on the side here to fold the seat down which will give you more storage space And we're back in the driver's seat here we have the half leather wrap and wood trim steering wheel looks and feel very comfortable over here we have the different audio mode control with the voice command and bluetooth phone answering option lexus logo in the middle with the horn and over here we have the different display selection in which you control everything that's going to be this display here in the front digital very convenient Here's your front and rear windshield wiper control, cruise control, right and left turn signal and twisted knob on the end to control the headlight. Down here we have a smaller knob here to control the steering wheel placement. You can move it up, down, away from you or towards you. Driver air vent, trunk release button, heated steering wheel option control. And here you have a uh, smaller storage compartment. On top we have the driver sun visor with a small credit card slot holder there. Mirror with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror. And you can actually move this whole entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage. And bar on top also. Moving over to the middle, we have the beautiful uh, system display here. Currently in the radio view. Two additional air vent with an analog clock in the middle. Hazard light control there. And in the middle, that's where you insert your CD. Volume control to the left here. And you can simply press down on it to turn it on or off. Below that, we have your dual AEC heat clamp control. And way down here, as you can see, we have the nicely designed wood trim, 12 volt core charge outlet, storage compartment there. And here we have the heated and cool front seat control for both front passenger and the driver, power parking brake control. And here's a gear shift box control. Simply push your foot down the brake, move it down to R to put the car to reverse. As you can see, rear view camera automatically display with guided lines, which move according to the movement of the steering wheel. Very nice safety feature. N for neutral, D for drive. Push it over to the left to put it into sport manual mode, and you can simply push up and down to change gears. And the gear also display there. Side view mirror also tilt down slightly when you put the car into reverse. Two cup holder. Next we have the different driving modes control. Left for eco, right for sport, push down for normal mode, traction control there. And over here we have the uh, different display control for the uh, screen. As you can see there that knob is multi-directional. Here's our main menu view. Pretty nice interface. Radio view here. And right here.
here you have a slot for you to put your phone and it does fit the iPhone 6 however it does not fit the 6 plus middle armrest compartment inside we have two USB input along with an auxiliary input and a 12 volt core charge outlet glove box compartment here to show you complete view of the dash Moving on up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the universal garage door opening control. Also have the compass which show you which direction you're heading to. Further up, we have the spot for you to put your glasses. Next is the light control. Now these are touch sensitive and as you can see, touch ones to turn on or off. SOS in the middle there is for roadside assistant. And on both sides, we have the sunroof control, one for the tilt function and one to open it fully. There's the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this core below. Also, don't, to, don't forget to check out our official Facebook page for our everyday activity. For more future core reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.